Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and today's presentation is on COBOL Evaluate Statement. In this presentation, I'm going to give an overview of Evaluate Statement. Apart from that, I'm going to discuss each and every format of Evaluate with the help of an example. And by the end of this presentation, you have a clear understanding of COBOL Evaluate Statement, its usage and its format. And before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. So let's begin our presentation with introduction to COBOL Evaluate Statement. COBOL Evaluate Statement is like Microsoft Visual Basic Select Case Statement. The statement was introduced with COBOL 85 version and it can be used for multiple purpose. And from performance perspective, COBOL Evaluate Statement is better than COBOL Nestedifs and due to this reason only it is always recommended that you should replace your nested if statement with COBOL Evaluate Statement. So before we look at the example and syntax of uh, Evaluate Statement, I would like to mention that uh, COBOL Evaluate Statement has four different uh, formats and we would be discussing each format with syntax in a short while from now. Before we move to the example, let's look at the basic syntax of, uh, of the statement. So if you look at the right hand side of your screen, you have a basic syntax of evaluate statement and uh, the when clause is generally used to specify your condition and just underneath you specify the statements that needs to be executed for that particular when. And the evaluate statement is terminated by using uh, uh, explicit scope terminator that is end evaluate. Now let's look at the first example. So this example is basically a snippet of an actual program. So this is not a complete program. And uh, in this case, if you look at the paragraph that is uh, mentioned in the procedure division, that is 00-main-paragraph. Hyphen hyphen so in this paragraph, I've used the evaluate statement, right? So it says evaluate true, that, that is the start of the evaluate statement. And it says when, the first condition says, if there is no record in the file, that means it's end of the file. In that case, just go and write the trailer. Just write, just call a paragraph that says a 00 hyphen write trailer record. And in case if it is not an end of the file and there are few more records. So what you can do is uh, just go ahead and write the record, which is already there in the buff buffer, right? It says b 00 hyphen write detail record. And subsequently after writing the record, you just go back and read the next record. And in case none of the above condition is satisfied, then only control will go to the other section and it will going to execute the paragraph that is z00 hyphen call hyphen error. So it will going to call uh, error routine that will going to do an exception handling, right? So the best part of evaluate statement is that as soon as condition is satisfied, it will just execute the statements that needs to be executed in that particular section and the control comes out of evaluate statement. So it will not going to validate the remaining uh, when conditions. Now let's move on to the next variant of evaluate statement that is evaluate with also. So this variant of evaluate statement is similar to what we discussed few seconds back in our previous slide. The only difference is that in this uh, variant, I, I'm checking more than one condition at the same time, right? So what I've done is if you just look at the example, I've used evaluate true also true. So that means if both condition that is specified in the when clause is satisfied, then only the statement that needs to be executed will be executed. So if you look at the example, it says WS hyphen A equals to WS hyphen B. Also, WS hyphen C equals to WS hyphen D. So the value of first two field should be equal to each other and the value of last two field should be equal to each other. Then only the statement that is case one is true will be displayed as an output of this particular evaluate statement. Now let's move on to the next variant that is evaluate when with multiple conditions. So again, this evaluate statement format is also similar to what we discussed in our previous two examples. The only change out here is that uh, uh, despite of using true, I'm using uh, actual variable name and I'm checking the value of those variable, uh, the possible value of that particular variable in my when clause, right? 
so in this example there's a field called marital status and I'm checking the value of this particular field whether the person is married single or divorced right so if you see the first one is if uh, a person is married then you're going to display married in case if a person is single or divorced then you're going to print single right similarly if you look at the second example I've used the evaluate with true and instead of specifying the also true I'm just using uh, logical operators to combine two conditions right if you see the when clause you have WS hyphen age is greater than 10 and WS hyphen gender is male then you're going to uh, display the statement that is male with the age greater than 10 so now let's move on to the last uh, variant of evaluate statement that is evaluate when with true option so this variant of evaluate statement is again similar to what we discussed in our previous three slides right the only difference out here is that we are using through uh, when we are specifying condition in the when clause right so in this case we have a evaluate statement and we are using a variable called ws hyphen number and what we are doing is we are checking different values in when clause so the first one is that uh, in case if the value of ws hyphen number is one so it's going to display one similarly if value is two then you're going to display two and despite of writing multiple times for single value what i've done is in the third when i'm just checking for a value between three to six and if the variable value is for example four so the outcome of evaluate statement would be number between three to six right and as soon as condition is satisfied the control will move out of uh, the evaluate statement ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's presentation and in case if you have any question then do write that in the comment section we're going to respond back to your question and in case if you have any feedback then also please provide uh, in the comment section apart from that I would request you all that please do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel last but not the least always try to use evaluate statement rather than COBOL nested ifs because they are not good from performance perspective once again thank you so much and stay safe